Hey, what's up guys? So I've had a lot of people reach out, um, I guess, seeing some of my videos that made some people want to go after some of their ratchets and, and get them cleaned up. So the one question I'm getting is how do I get them back together? Um, I know some of you struggle with the little ball bearing and, and trust me, I mean, I've lost uh, so many of them, it's ridiculous. And so um, I'm going to show you guys how I do it. And this is just, you know, I'm sure there's probably a better way, but this seems to work out pretty well. So once you have it in pieces and you're getting ready to put it back together, uh, get the spring back inside. And then what I do is I just take a glob of super loop, okay, and just kind of set it right, right in there on the top. And so what that does is now, oops, sorry guys. And so now that lets me set that ball bearing in there and it'll hold it in place, okay? So like so, okay? Now, <clears throat> what I'll usually do is get a small screwdriver or a pick. You wanna depress it in there because here's the thing, you, you may or may not have room because it has to be something skinny enough to kind of sit right there so that you can get it over and then pull the piece out when you're ready. Um, some ratchets, if the selector switch, if you go at it from the backside, sometimes you can get this in upside down, which gives you a little more room because of the ridges. And then you can turn it with a screwdriver or something like that. In this case, everything's on the top, so uh, it makes it a little more difficult. Uh, and then, of course, the switch makes it even more. So now that we've got that ball bearing sitting there on the lube, I'll kind of point this off in one, one, or, one or the other directions and just go real slow and just kind of get it in there because it could hit the ball. And you want to scoot it back, scoot it up in that corner up here as much as you can. So now I know this is going to sit right in there like that, right? So go ahead. I put uh, obviously my, my hand down on the, the ratchet handle, okay? And see, so you can depress it in there. So if you have a screwdriver or something skinny enough, you're able to set this in. But if you see, I don't have the room to be able to do that. So that doesn't work. So what I've got to do now is get something like this, which I'm going to tell you guys, if you don't have lube in there, don't use a pick because it's going to slip. And I can promise you, you'll never find that ball bearing ever again. So let me get it back on there. Okay, now that I've got it on there, obviously my hands are messed up here. So let's get this back up here. And then it's going to take a couple of tries, guys. I don't think anybody's ever been able to master getting this on there the first time so let's see here just go slow and be patient because if not you'll end up throwing everything across the room and you're going to lose the pieces anyway again guys if you have a small screwdriver it'd be way easier okay so now that i've got it depressed i can probably get that right in there if I can get it, there we go, and done. So now it's in there, switch works, you've got lube in there, uh, and you're ready to rock and roll. So now you can go ahead and just you know move that to the center. Get your gear on top. Go ahead and select it. Uh, I, of course, I line the inside guys with lube and then also the gear a little bit. I know some people like to use oil. You know, it's all personal preference, but that's it, guys. That That's by far the easiest and fastest way. Um, again, there's a million videos on YouTube, and I'm sure somebody's got an easier way, but that just happens to be the way that works for me. So here it is. Now you're all ready to go. So I usually just, you know, once you get it lubed up, you know, just make sure that you move it around a little bit, and you're ready to go. That's it. Good luck.